Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this um, problem. We have 9 to the power of x plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 3 to be equal to 0. Just hold on and see how we'll solve this. And at the end of the, the day, I will still check to see if I'm right or wrong. Okay. Now, we have 3 to the power of x here, and I believe we can pick this from here as well, right? Because 9 is 3 squared, right? The power of x will come, then plus 2, multiply by 3 to the power of x, minus 3, equal to 0, right? Now, from here, we have 3 to the power of x to the power of 2, because I can just take 2 outside and bring x inside right then plus 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 equal to 0 and from here we have what we are looking for 3 to the power x in two places let's replace it with y so let y be equal to 3 to the power of x and this means that here we'll be having y squared Plus here, we have 2y minus 3 equal to 0. And then from here, we will start looking for the two numbers we multiply to get minus 3. And then we add the both of them to have 2. That is, if we want to solve using the factorization method. Okay, so the two numbers will be 3 and minus 1 because 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 and then 3 minus 1 is plus 2 so this means that if we factorize we'll be having y plus 3 as one of the factor which is this 3 then the other factor will be y minus 1 which is what we have here and then these two will be equal to 0 and now we apply our zero zero product rule and the rule says if you have two numbers to multiply or two terms to multiply to get zero then it is either one of them or both of them are equal to zero right so from here now i'll pick y plus 3 to be equal to 0 or y minus 1 to be equal to 0, right? Okay. From here now, y will be equal to 0 minus 3 or y here is equal to 0 plus 1. And we can conclude, okay, let's take a step. y from here is minus 3 or y is equal to plus 1. Therefore, y is equal to minus 3 or 1. But like I said earlier, I will be checking to see if these two values will satisfy the equation. But mind you, we didn't have y in the equation, right? Okay, and since we do not have y in the equation, let us look for our x. Remember when we say that y is equal to 3x, right? So that means from here, I can have, in place of y, I write 3. Sorry, it's 3 to the power of x. And that will be equal to minus 3. And from here, there is no value of x that will give you negative 3. If you want to use 0, 3 to the power 0 is 1, right? If you want to use 1, 3 to the power of 1 will give us positive 3. If you want to use minus 1, 3 to the power of minus 1 will give us 1 over 3. So this has to be rejected because no real solution will come out of this. Okay, so this is rejected. This is rejected. Then let's get the other value of y, which is... um. 1. 
So this means that our 3 to the power of x will be equal to 1, right? And then, mind you, this is pretty simple because we are looking for any number, any value of x that will give us 1 over here. And it has to be 0 because 3 to the power of 0 is giving us 1. So this is to conclude that your x is equal to 0, right? But then, if you don't want to do that, you can say 3 to the power of x is equal to, here we're having 1, right? But because we're having 3 over here, you can begin by having 3 as your base as well. And then the power, 3 to the power of what is giving you 1, it is still 3 to the power of 0. Now we have the same basis, right? And if the bases are the same, what happens to the powers? They must be equal, so our x is equal to 0. So this is the value of x that should be satisfying the equation. And I told you that we'll be checking to see if we are right or wrong. The original equation is 9 to the power of x plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of x minus 3 equals 0. Now, our x that we are having is um, 0. So we're having 9 to the power of 0 plus 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of 0 minus 3. Will this give us 0? Let's, do, let's keep going. 9 to the power 0 is 1 plus 2. Here we have 2 times 1 because 3 to the power 0 is still 1. Then we have minus 3. Then here we have 1 plus 2 minus 3. 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3, and that will give 0. So this is to confirm that x to be equal to 0 is the only real solution to this problem. Thank you for watching, and if you think you love what I have done, subscribe to my channel, and then share this to your friends. Thank you for the support.